What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Security Breach Theory video. In today's video we are going to the depths of the Mega Pizzaplex, quite literally, because this, this is exciting. I actually couldn't believe it when this happened in the game. Uh, if you didn't realise, today we are talking about the true ending of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. It's a two star ending. Which means it's kind of good, but it's kind of bad as well. So, in order to get this ending, if you did not know, you have to get all three upgrades. So, you need to have Monty's claws, you need to have Roxanne's eyes, and you need to have Chica's beak. And then, you can go to a place in Roxanne's raceway, and there is an old elevator which doesn't seem safe. And uh, when you go down there, uh, there's some surprises. First of all, of course, you cannot go back up. The elevator this is a one-time trip so um, may maybe like hold on to that thought for a moment now when you get down there uh, <laughs> yeah uh, you, you you search around for a bit uh, it's, it's kind of like a, a really underground place like it's, it's really secret like why would this place exist in the game um, and then the lights turn on and we see Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. Now, my prediction for this game was that we were going to do something similar to this, or we were going to somehow, like, go through a secret wall or something and find Fredbear's Family Diner. This is not Fredbear's Family Diner. This is Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. Now, you're probably like, what is Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place? Because this entire time we've known about Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and we've known about Fredbear's Family Diner, and we've known about a few other locations in the books and stuff like that, but what is Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place? We've never heard of that, have we? Well, actually, we have. In the FNAF 6 cutscenes. Yes, the FNAF 6 cutscenes. Uh, going back there, the place that we actually build a pizzeria in, that pizzeria is called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. That's insane. So what does that mean? That means that this is the FNAF 6 location. Now I am going to show you a little clip right now of me and the Dark Rooms crew reacting to uh, seeing this location. Generator. Now behold. <gasps> what? Freddy this is the FNAF 6 location. What? 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 Freddy Fazbear's oh Pizza my Place. God. No way. That makes so much sense! That makes so much sense! Wait. Afton's gonna be in here. Afton's gonna be in here. Freddy's gonna be in here. Um, freaking Charlotte's gonna be in here. Oh no! Guys! 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 Oh are you God, ready? That makes so much sense! Guys, are you ready? Are you guys ready? Pretty sure right, nothing can hurt no, you, no except more. there's something that can hurt you, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, you can you can hear me in the background going, that makes so much sense. And honestly, I don't really know what I was talking about back then. But there are kind of, there are a lot of questions that come with it. And I think one of them is, why build a Pizzaplex on top of this FNAF 6 location? Well, if you look inside, you can see that the fire just did nothing, right? I mean, you go to FNAF 6, and you beat FNAF 6, and there's this amazing, amazing fire with an incredible speech by Henry, and everything is burning down, it's all tumbling, and uh, clearly William Afton is being sent to hell, and that's the end of him. But then we find the same place in Security Breach, which might be like 10 years later or something, and you see that this place isn't burnt down, it's still together. So what happened? Like, wh why did this fire not work either? Is Afton actually immortal? Like, e even from fire, like he can't die from fire? It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Um, so yeah, the fire did not work at all. We got that sort of evidence as well in the ultimate, uh, in the ultimate guide. Uh, we also saw in, in Fast Breath Bright as well, we, we kind of had the same storyline where the fire just did not work, Afton was back as a big trash rabbit. And really, I feel like the FNAF 6 fire should have worked, uh, but yeah, it, it really didn't. It basically did nothing. Um, and now Afton is back. 
we should probably talk about that. Uh, when you go into the location and you go down the hole um, to get to the next place, obviously, we see Molten Freddy. And at that point, I'm like, okay, this, this game, man, this game. Now, I just want to say right now, this is not Molten Freddy. This animatronic, and you're going to laugh at this, this animatronic is called Blob Freddy. In the files, this animatronic is called Blob Freddy. Now, there's a lot of connotations to that, actually. Um, and one thing that I do want to point out about Blob Freddy is the fact that he has other animatronics kind of built into him. And that means that Blob Freddy is some kind of conglomeration of all of the other animatronics. And I kind of like that. I think that's kind of, that's kind of sick. Um, it also means that the MCI kids are here as well because of because of Molten MCI. I don't know. I'm not a theorist, really. Uh, I, I don't really know much about that kind of topic. But I know that Molten MCI exists, and I believe it was confirmed in the Ultimate Guide. I will give you more information about that if I get any more information. But essentially, a lot of people have been saying that the missing children are, it, are in this blob Freddy. Um, so, yeah. And that's also something to point out because... Freddy has these weird lines uh, when you go down there saying like my friends are here or whatever something like that we're gonna talk about that at a different time well, when I'm more prepared to talk about that anyway yeah you go down and then you find out that this entire time Afton has been alive and uh, take a guess as to <laughs> as to what this Afton is called okay we had spring trap then we had scrap trap then we had glitch trap and now we have Burn trap. I'm not even kidding. They could have done something like way cool. They could have done scorch trap. I mean, even flaming spring trap is a cooler name than burn trap. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Probably you guys as well. But um, yeah, burn trap is here. <laughs> that was the purple hand that we saw um, in the in the trailer. I do just want to say that Afton has both of his hands back. Uh, yeah, no comment on that. And of course, the tentacle that we see in uh, in F uh, Freddy and Friends episode one is, of course, Molten Fred or uh, uh, Blob Freddy. <laughs> Whenever I say blob, I think of a blob fish. I I'm just thinking of like a blob fish with a Freddy mask on. So yeah, at the end of the game, this cutscene happens, and I'm gonna show you my reaction with it, of course. Oh yes! Oh my gosh! Cutscene! Whoa! Oh my gosh! He looks so oh! good! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! They're taking him! Oh my god! This is a oh full animated cutscene! Oh my god! Oh my, god. Oh my gosh! Go! 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 That's it! That's it? What? That's it. Oh, no! That's it? What? That's it! How is that it? That's nothing! That is why I refuse to join the stream today. You mean the Dark Rooms podcast? That's, That's it? it? That's it. And of course... It, it does pose a lot of questions rather than answers. Like, what? why is that the end? <laughs> um, is Afton dead? No, he always comes back. I don't know. I don't, I don't really, I don't get it. <laughs> Do any of you get it? Because I, I don't think I get it. I think that this entire, like, underground part was such a cool section. I just wish it would have, one, been explored more, and secondly, kind of ended better, because it kind it was kind of, I guess it was anticlimactic. Anyway, let's have like a little discussion about what actually happened here. So, a lot of the lore bags that you get, a lot of the duffel bags uh, in Roxy's Raceway actually tells you that there was something underneath the pizza plex that is draining its power. Uh, and we see that Afton comes out of this power charging station, the same kind of one that Freddy uses to power him up. So I think it's pretty clear that Afton has been draining the power of the pizza plex to bring himself back to life. It could also be possible that he powers Blob Freddy um, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very weird. It seems like maybe Afton was using Blob Freddy as like a transportation system. Maybe he's in control of Blob, uh, of Blob Freddy. 
But um, nothing really happened at the end, so uh, yeah, it was kind of anticlimactic. The real big question is why is this location the location underneath the pizza plex? Well, I have a feeling this is just uh, like, this isn't even a theory, this is kind of like a, a hypothesis because it doesn't really have much evidence, but I'm just kind of like telling a story with what we've got. What if it was something like this, where the FNAF 6 location was burnt, okay? Then the newspapers, the, new, the news was all over it, right? Finally, Afton is dead, the killer of the missing children all the way back in 1983, 1985, whenever you think. So it was reported in the news, the world is happy, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria can continue with the with the Mega Pizza Plex. Afton isn't gonna come back, so, you know, Freddy's is gonna be okay from now on. However, the people went back to the pizza place and they find out that nothing actually worked, right? We see that the entire place is literally still like, like, this, like the same. <laughs> Even though there's a fire there, nothing has happened. And so, what do they do? Well, they don't tell the world, they lie about it. And they, they pile trash on top of all of this, and they bury it underground, and on top of that, they build the pizza plex so that nobody will ever find the location again. But, of course, we do find the location uh, as Gregory. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that was, that was, it was, yeah, it was leading up to a good ending, but I feel like the ending could have been better. But, um, it, it was, it was pretty good. I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the reactions. Anyway, do you guys have any sort of theories about the pizza place? Why it is under there? Um, what happened to Afton? Like, what, what happened? <laughs> Just what happened here? I would love to hear your theories and your comments down in the comments below. Uh, make sure you subscribe because we're going to be making some more theories soon. Uh, I know I'm going to be covering the therapist tapes very, very soon. Uh, I have some more information about the Afton family. So uh, make sure you stick around for those sorts of videos. I hope that you have a wonderful week. And uh, I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. Goodbye.